So the Mac port of Counter-Strike 2 has been officially cancelled by Valve and obviously this is very disappointing news for Mac gamers. However, it's not necessarily that surprising. So I was kind of expecting this to happen. After all, Counter-Strike 2 was released for Windows and Linux operating systems on the 27th of September and it's taken quite a long time for any kind of news or communication about a potential Mac port. After all, CSGO ran on the Source One engine and it's been a staple on Mac gaming for over a decade now. Although it's small player base by percentage of the overall CS2 community, it still represented tens of thousands of players. And I really thought that Valve would take the time and effort to at least do a Vulcan Molten VK port of the game of Counter-Strike 2 onto the macOS operating system, not necessarily do the full native ARM port. But at the end of the day, it looks like Valve doesn't want to put in the effort to port Counter-Strike 2 onto macOS do all of the graphics API translation layers and get it working and support all of these Mac customers. Obviously, I think that is not surprising. So if you look at the Steam support FAQ page, which I'll leave a link to in the description, it says here, as technology advances, we have made the difficult decision to discontinue support for older hardware, including DirectX 9 and 32-bit operating systems. Similarly, we will no longer support macOS. Combined, these represented less than 1% of active CSGO players. Moving forward, Counter-Strike 2 will exclusively support 64 bit Windows and Linux. So basically Valve have said that no future support for Mac for Counter-Strike 2. And the reason that they've given is because of the small player base involved and they don't want to put the extra work for that tiny player base. This is also very reminiscent of the way that Rocket League also cancelled their macOS port back in the day when they moved to the Epic Game Store. They also cited the transition from DirectX 9 to DirectX 11. And again, Rocket League state that macOS and Linux combined only represent 0.3% of the active player base. So the good news is that if you have paid money for CSGO on a Mac and you've played on Mac OS between March and September this year, then you are eligible for a refund. And another good thing is that Valve have opened up the legacy version of CSGO. So if you want to play CSGO as it originally was, then you can still go back into that game. So if you go to Steam on a Mac and you download Counter-Strike 2, when you launch the game, you can have an option to play a legacy CSGO. So you can still have access to that game with bots. However, there are substantial things missing from the game. You won't be able to use items in the same way. You won't be able to have matchmaking in the same way and the community servers are basically dead but you can still kind of play the game as it was in the same way that you can still play CS Source and CS 1.6 if you're running a Windows computer. So what are the implications for this? Well Valve are responsible for many of the most popular Mac ports on the platform and slowly but surely they've all been dropping support over time. So for example we had Left 4 Dead 2 which was 32-bit, Team Fortress 2 which is 32-bit, both of those dropped support and now we've dropped Counter-Strike 2 which basically represents the most popular game on the entire platform. And the last one left is basically Dota 2 which still runs pretty well through Rosetta 2 and Molten VK. So I expect that to still continue. I don't see that having any substantial engine changes in the future like Counter-Strike would have had. But what it kind of looks like is that Valve support on Mac is basically on life support. No additional resources are going to be spent on any Valve games on the platform. The only investment is going to be in the Steam client itself which is obviously the gateway for many thousands of other Mac games. So that's kind of where Valve's time and money and effort is better spent. However, I don't expect any future Valve games, not that they make many games anyway, to actually come out on the Mac in the future. And potentially games like Dota 2 might not survive any kind of future hardware transition for Apple. And it looks like no matter how popular a game might be on the Mac platform, Valve is just not going to spend the money, time or effort in order to maintain that port. So obviously very sad, disappointing news, especially because there's a kind of Mac gaming resurgence from the other direction. There are plenty of native ARM Mac ports being released today, for example, Total War Pharaoh just released. We've got Star Trek Infinite as well. These are both native ARM um, kind of double A games that have come out on the platform. Obviously, we have Baldur's Gate 3, one of the most popular single player RPGs of all time, which has a native ARM Mac port. And we're getting games like Resident Evil 4 being ported to Mac OS in the very near future. On the other hand, Mac gaming is resurging in the other direction. But it's quite sad to see that Valve, which was once one of the titans of Mac gaming, kind of recede and withdraw support for this Mac platform. So obviously it's technically feasible for Valve to port Counter-Strike 2 onto the Mac and you can actually see this in action. We can actually play the Windows version of Counter-Strike 2 through crossover and game porting toolkit. It actually runs pretty well. If Valve actually took the time and effort to dedicate a few resources, this could potentially run way, way better than it does now. If you want to see my video tutorial about how to get Counter-Strike 2 working, then make sure to click on this video in the description. Anyway, I hope you found this video useful. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.